everyone and welcome to this video. You might have seen us before doing maybe different videos or we might have worked with you in person or you might never have met us before. So I will say hello. Um, I am Lauren. Uh, I'm Ellie. And actually we work for the Archdiocese of Liverpool Animate Youth Ministries team. What a tongue twister that is. Um, <laughs> but I suppose really uh, this is the whole point of this video today because we want you to explain a little bit about what we do who we are, and maybe opportunities which we can offer to you, yourselves. And so, do you want to start us off, Ellie? Let's get down to the basics. <laughs> yes, so we are based in St. Helens, uh, in this house here, which is called Low House. Uh, and like St. Helens is just like just outside of Liverpool. Um, and a lot of the work which we do is around Liverpool, because we go into schools, schools can come to us as a centre, and we deliver different material, different days for them, and um, different workshops in different forms, different, very, very different, different things. Um, <laughs> but I suppose ultimately, uh, the one thing which is important and the one thing which is the centre of our work is, in fact, we are a Catholic retreat centre. Um, I think that can, be, can become a little bit alarming, John. You yeah, just say that yeah. we are the Archdiocese of Liverpool Catholic. I don't know, youth ministry team. It's like a tongue twister. <laughs> you know, and so you might be sat there now thinking, what on earth is, does that mean? Um, and I suppose that was maybe one of the first reasons why we wanted to do this video today. Because actually, maybe when we think of like a Catholic youth ministry team, or maybe when you think of a Catholic youth ministry team, you might be thinking that we pray every day, which we do, but only for 15 minutes but you know not continuously um, and that we go to mass we kind of like maybe can't really do things or watch things and all of these kind of different things that isn't who we are faith is important to us and we try and bring that message to young people but ultimately it is only part of me it's only part of ellie there is a lot more about me a lot more about ellie and so we kind of just wanted to first of all mention that the second thing which we wanted to speak to you about today is we kind of are hoping to explain about a gap year with us, about maybe the opportunities which we can offer you, about maybe what it might mean to take a gap year, um, not just maybe going to like Camp America or places like that, but with us here at the centre. Um, and we wanted to give them a bit more of an idea of really why, why join yeah. us. Ellie's with me. Um, and Ellie, you can speak a, bit, a little bit about yourself. I'll wow, okay. Thank you, thank yeah. you. <laughs> um, but I will warn you now, I thought it'd be really good for me and for the people watching, because you've been through this experience yourself, um, to maybe tell us a bit about that. I'm going to ask some questions. Right, okay. Ellie don't know what questions I'm asking because we don't like to, you know, have like a fixed script here. Um, so give her a bit of time she just go <laughs> blank and go, I don't know. Um, so, um, First of all, do you want to maybe explain a little bit about yourself? Yeah, so I started at Animate um, about three and a half years ago. I started on uh, the Gap Year team and um, from there I like, climbed the ladder, some may say, and I'm um, now with a retreat coordinator. All right, there we go. Mm -hmm. um, so really specifically, this video was about maybe joining the team as a Gap member. Um, and what I kind of wanted to ask first of all, is many people watching this might never have heard of us or maybe it might have seen us in different ways. How did you hear about Animate? Uh, so I first heard of Animate when I was in high school. Uh, they came in to do a mission week uh, with us, which is like when uh, you take some time out of like normal school life, I have a week with like different sessions with the team and all this type of thing. Um, and that's when you got like came in and that's when I started to try and get involved with Animate. So they do like different events. Uh, one of them taking like a coach from Liverpool down to London to see like be part of like the Flame Congress in Wembley Arena. Um, and then another one is like uh, the Youth Alive Masses, which were like around Liverpool, um, which are offered for like young people. It's like, like obviously it's called Youth Alive. Uh, so like, all young people in like the Liverpool Archdiocese can go. And it's mostly like for like, uh, people who go would be like going to Lords and things. And I actually did go to Lords myself, but do go to Lords myself uh, as the annual pilgrimage we go. And um, another event I got, part in is like the Eucharistic minister so I'm able to uh, minister the Eucharist. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Um, you just changed some two words yes. around. <laughs> <laughs> um, but 
but uh, you know, there was a few different things there which you said earlier, like, and some like even Minister of the Eucharist, Eucharist of the Minister, <laughs> whatever that might, like, you know, some people might be sat there going, oh, I don't know what that is. So, um, and I suppose we're going to try and explain that a little bit or a bit further on because there are different events which we take part in, and there is actually like planning and stuff like that which we do, and Lords. It's a pilgrimage which, you know, over 250 young people go in the diocese and, you know, that's to help the sick. But you might not know anything about that, so we'll come back to that. But you basically heard it from the events which we participated in. Yeah. Makes perfect sense. Um, I suppose then my next question is, why then did you want to take a gap year? Okay. I think it's quite a hard question. Yeah, so... Um, so I actually, like, so when I was in sixth form, I made some um, new friends and I actually put, like, my faith and, um, like, chaplaincy under the carpet. I didn't really think about it. And uh, then I applied to university. But at the time, I didn't really think university was right for me. Um, so I didn't really know. I felt a bit lost and things like that. And then um, Sarah, who used to be on the team, actually got in contact with me and asked, what am I doing in the next academic year? And I was like, uh, I'm not too sure, uh, I'm thinking of going to university, but uh, I don't know if it's like the right time for me. And um, from then she was like, well, why don't you actually consider becoming like a gap year uh, member? And um, I was like, all right, okay. So she invited me round to Low House and so like, I got to see like a day retreat and what that consists of and all the different things. And I was like, oh, I'm not too sure if this is gonna be right for me. Um, but I'll give it a, give it a think. I'll like think about it. Uh, so then from there, I was like, oh, maybe maybe I can because I spoke to uh, different past team members who actually explained a bit more like what the experience of being a gap year could be. And I was like, all right, well yeah, I'll I'll take the jump. <laughs> so that's why I did, and that's why I'm here. <laughs> I hope you don't mind. Okay. But you obviously said like there was like a few maybe different doubts which you had yeah. where you had to maybe speak to past team members. It's too deep, don't mention it. You don't, <laughs> don't want to get to that. Um, but what I am saying is, like, was there maybe a few worries there? Which and what were they, if you don't mind me asking? No. Um, so one of the worries is like, like I said, like seeing you all in action doing the different day retreats, seeing you in like mission week, being on stage. I was like, oh gosh, I don't think I have like enough confidence to actually get up and speak all this stuff. I don't know everything about faith, faith, and um, I'm not sure. Um, if I'm going to be able to do that um, but that's when I spoke to the past team members and they were like well actually you need to start somewhere you can't just, you're not just going to know it all at all like, at, at that minute um, so that's when that kind of worry was like pushed away another worry is like because obviously you come up with a different um, workshops and different material that for the young people I was like I'm not that creative I don't know if I've got much to offer um, like the team I don't I don't know and so this time I was speaking to my chaplain about it at high school and um, she was she said well um, you, you need to learn like you need to learn how to be like to do these things and you're not going to do that if you don't actually try and I think that was a big thing but I feel like my main worry that I had was that I'm not as religious as all these people uh, all these people that <laughs> yeah um, like, yeah, I'm not as religious as all these people like who, they could talk about their own faith journey and how amazing it's been and all this and I'm like I, I don't know like I don't think I can be like that um but I think the main thing what people said to me is that it's actually your own faith journey the journey is your own experience with God it, you can't just be um like like obviously your own journey you're not just going to be able to speak about your journey straight away you need to find it out yourself and I think that's that's kind of what actually hit me is thinking um well that is true all the worries that I had were, weren't really worries well they were but I'm just overthinking things so I just decided to jump in <laughs> I get that. I think that's like normal, isn't it, with, with really anything, especially maybe for you if you have plans to go to university or maybe anyone who has plans to do an apprenticeship, whatever, and you think, gosh, now, now I'm suddenly going to say I'm not doing anything, I'm going to take a gap year out and, you know, what are people going to think and all of this. Yeah. So I kind of get like the worries there, maybe the anxieties there, so, you know, that does like, make sense. I think then, 
because you've obviously had your gap year and you've moved on and up. Can you see maybe, and this is a hard question, so I'm oh, sorry, gosh, but can you see maybe like in that year, things which you grew on or things which you never thought you might actually learn, you know, what, what did it kind of bring to your own life? Um, so I think my, a main one for me in particular um, would be like my confidence. Like I wasn't, I wasn't very good at public speaking. I'm not like very good, like not very confident. I had like worries and all this type of thing. Um, but from being here, I've been able to grow as an individual. I'm able to like uh, deliver sessions and actually like lead retreats and all this type of thing. So that was one. Another thing is probably like tech things. I hate technology. Oh my goodness. Uh, but obviously it's part of the job you need to try and figure things out um, so yeah I think there's many different areas that I've been able to grow which I probably didn't think I would especially cooking it came to anime um, not being able to cook I, s I still can't well, that's not <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying, I'm okay. trying. So that one, Ellie. Yeah, come to us. <laughs> Don't let Ellie cook. Um, no, but, you know, there are, like, I always think when you move into maybe, like, uni or something like that, I mean, there are times where you're thinking, I've never done this before. I have no idea what I'm meant to be doing. Like, how do I put this washing machine on? Or how do I do that? How do I, how do I cook? How do I do things like that? Um, and it's a fair question, actually, and I think, um, and thank you for answering it. I think, like you said, like some positives there, maybe some like negative, some things which held you back as well, which is all part of the journey. Just as my last question, I'm and we're obviously doing this video today to maybe encourage like the year 12s, 13s to maybe think about this as an opportunity in their lives. And I was just wondering, kind of, what message would you share with them if you could about taking a gap year? Um. Well, like the advice I, I would give my like, younger self about taking a gap year um, is like, in my, well, this is actually quite a difficult yeah. question. Oh, don't no, worry. Um, You've got time to think. Um, Sorry, I'm just... Yeah, I think, I, just go for it. You might not know where you are at the minute. Um, like, you might be a bit lost like I was or anything like that. And actually just take the plunge because you might find things out about yourself that you never even knew and like go on so many different experiences with like random people <laughs> but like yeah no 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 get okay. different experiences yeah, yeah and obviously work with the high years the lower years all that kind of yeah. stuff um so just I go like for to, it yeah, like go for it go for um, it so and um, just like maybe go for it and I think one of the things which you said just to maybe end this um, little part is that actually you said that for yourself you was like kind of thinking a little bit worried you felt a little bit lost you felt actually something just wasn't quite right about yeah. going to uni I think that's like what many people experience is I want to go to uni, I want to do this, but I just at this moment in time it just doesn't seem fitting and I don't really know what to do. Um, and so yeah, I, I like what you said, just do what you want to do and perhaps not the influence of others. So definitely, yeah, yeah. Definitely. great.